drill hard and steel with a masonry bit. In this video I am actually going to show you how to sharpen a masonry bit so it can cut hardened steel and I'm going to demonstrate actually drilling hardened steel. The drill bit I'm sharpening today is going to be a 3 16 which is 0.875. The reason why is because I need to drill out a quarter inch high speed tap which is a number seven which is a 202. If you're just learning hand grinding techniques it's better to start off with a 3 8 to half inch because it's easier to see and easier to handle. Before we get started please take a moment to like and subscribe it's free and it'll help me out. Okay let's get started right now. Okay this is the wheel I use it's one that I got on Facebook it's a high-end diamond wheel I paid five dollars for it and the reason why I'm using that one is because I really really like it now if I didn't have that wheel and I really wanted to do this there's a bunch of different options here this one goes on a grinder you can turn around this is not recommended by me in any way shape or form but you could turn around and put your grinder your your hand grinder in a, in a vise and then actually grind and hold on to these these guys here there's a few people that turn around and use this style on their table saw. And you say, well, these are expensive. I doubt I paid five bucks for this thing. Now, this one here is a preferred style over this one because it's a segmented cut. So this one here will actually be able to sharpen tooling better. And this guy here, I paid three bucks for it. And it is a very good quality nice diamond blade inside there. Ideally this is the best when you have one of these but these will work almost as well. Okay on the far left is the actual drill bit that I sharpened. In the middle is a drill bit sharpened and a non sharpened drill bit and on the right hand side is a spade bit. What I am trying to do is mimic or copy the geometry that is on the spade bit and put it onto a 3 16 masonry bit. With that profile, it will cut like a knife through butter in hardened steel. What I'm going to attempt to do is try and make this masonry bit into a bit of a spade bit. If you see here, this thing will not cut. So let's see what we can do to see if I can get it to cut. So the first thing I'm going to do is sharpen it like a regular drill. And then I'm going to have to take out all of this extra stuff at the front. What I'll do is I'll just grind this away with the regular bit because that's just steel and weld. I'll grind this side and then I'll grind that side, the front face off. I'm going to use the side of the wheel over here. I don't know if you can see it or not. All I did was grind the front of this side off. Now I'm going to try and put on this side here an undercut and then flip it over and do an undercut here and then I'm going to put clearance on the sides as well. So let's see how that works. Probably should have done this with a half inch bit instead of a 3 8 or a 3 16 
But if you take a look, you can see how it's an undercut there. And if you look on this side, there's an undercut there. So basically, the edge profiles, the same as a regular drill bit. And this will cut hardened steel. Well, you can see how small this is just by looking at the size of my fingernail. This is quite a small bit, but this guy should cut all the geometries there. Okay, I'm going to drill a hole through this Craftsman wrench. Okay, I bought it at the ReStore for 50 cents. Okay, just so I could drill a hole through it. I don't want anybody emailing me complaining about how I'm destroying tools, etc. or I'm disrespectful to tools. It's the total opposite. What I'm trying to do is prove my tool sharpening here for this guy. This is a masonry bit. I just sharpened it up. You'll see in the video. No trick photography or anything like that. This vise is not mounted. The table is not locked. The reason why I'm doing this is to show the use of this drill in a non-rigid setup. I will be kind and throw some tapping fluid on here, or some cutting oil. No, it is tapping fluid. See the chips coming off? Look at that. There is some flex in the wrench. Oopsie. Getting more on the vise than I am in the drilled hole. I normally wouldn't use oil because I can resharpen, but I want to drill through a couple other things. And when I'm done, I'm going to pull out the drill without cutting the video at all. It's a good 3 8 thick probably. Starting to come out the other side. Okay. Now I don't want to touch the bit because it's going to be warm. Hopefully you guys can still see that. Still sharp, that'll still cut. Has a little bit of scratching on the side. And to prove. See the hole through there? Well, hopefully you picked up a tidbit of knowledge and you enjoyed the video. If you got any thoughts or feelings on this video, or you have ideas for other videos, let me know by leaving a comment below. If you want to see other great videos, check out my YouTube channel, Shop and Math. Also, if you enjoyed the video or you got some use out of it, please like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. All you have to do is click on the icon on my face and I'll do the rest. Thank you, have a great night, and thanks for watching.